Wednesday evening, I went to the grocery store and I saw something incredible. Not only one, but two different Australian wines. Australian wine? Never heard about this before. Is this a new thing? Then I went to the fruit and vegetable store. I love going to the fruits and vegetable stores. All, all these colors, this freshness. It's, it makes you feel healthy just walking into it. You don't even have to buy anything. Just, just going in there makes you feel like rejuvenated. It's amazing. Back home, the boys were suspiciously quiet, but I'm not one to complain about this. I like when they're jumping and bouncing everywhere, but it's also pretty good to have a bit of calm. Next morning, we made a breakfast in bed with a black currant jam that my grandmother sent us from the south that she made herself. Pretty amazing. Here you see Eclair scouring for crumbs. And here you see Lardo and Donut getting into a fight. Everyone has their priorities, right? Next, I made risotto with a picture there, shallots. And picture there, asparagus. And uh, rice. It's kind of the most important part, if you want to make a good risotto, don't forget to add rice. Hey, coming together nicely, right? Meanwhile, we see Pancake grooming in a very original fashion. Risotto's done. Look at this um, average but still pretty nice plating. The healthy helping of Parmigiano, freshly grated. I bought a wine from a place called the Devil's Stone, which is one of my favorite places in the country, especially for wine making. We went out to meet my buddy to go in one of my favorite burger places in the whole city, if not my favorite, my top one. You probably know about it. There, there were some pictures of celebrities in a very professional, old-fashioned way. And there was even Bojack Horseman. Unexpected. Here's my buddy. Here's the place. It opened one year ago and uh, I was there the day it opened and we waited in line for more than two hours to have the chance to taste one of their burgers and personally I was really not disappointed because I thought it was absolutely awesome and hands down the best chain I ever tasted. And yeah, in the top five best burgers I ever had in my life.
I love that they have this little glass thing and they make your burgers right behind it, in front of your eyes. I think it's a really great touch. It makes waiting more bearable. They always give you these huge orders of fries. Even if you order a small fries, they give you a shitload that fills your bag. But unfortunately, apparently, free refills are not allowed anymore, so the price of the drinks are kind of feeling like a ripoff. But it's fine, because the burgers are amazing, and my bacon and peanut butter milkshake was really perfect. Here's my body being attacked by Iron Man. And here's my girlfriend who found, like, a doll of herself. I don't know if she should sue or... And this, you know these Indian meme pages on Facebook? Uh, like we dude or sarcastic bro and they're uh, like pure cancer well this is like that but turned up to 11 this is like the trashiest nine gag humor i ever seen in poster form in a shop that sells whatever also there was this and a cookbook by talk show host and a book about sushi cakes. Lots of weird stuff in that shop. Lots of whatever stuff. Really. But the weirdest and most unexpected stuff I saw that day was a Sherlock anime book. What. The. Fuck. Fuck you Iron Man. Fuck you Superman. Hey, I left my mark there. Now, RGB speakers! Isn't that baller as fuck? Isn't that so swag? Yeah, that's pretty damn swag. If I get rich one day, I'll buy a lot of these. Fuck you, Spider-Man. And we found the mother of all quirk shops. Like the fucking nerd cave of all to end all nerd caves. That was... I don't know if that was cool or if that was not. I don't know, I was really confused the whole time. And there are a bunch of guys who look like the members of Slipknot. But apparently they're from Harry Potter. Whatever. Yeah, it was... It went from zero to cringe real fast. But there was also cool stuff. Kinda like life in general, I guess. So my girlfriend found another doll who looked just like herself. Weird. Here's my buddy confusing the hero of Breaking Bad. I mean the main character with Harrison Ford for some reason. That's some weird explanation, I didn't quite get it. And here's a pretty cool statue of Mickey. I like it. Also, there was a big statue of a big rat. I considered buying it to uh, put in my boy's cage for decoration. It was a bit expensive. A lot of stuff in there were... Yeah fucking expensive. I almost bought this glass. It was pretty nice. And that's all for this vlog. But the day was not ended yet. So, tune up next time. Because a big surprise was awaiting well, me, it was more surprising for me than for you. I don't think it will surprise you at all. But uh, it's going to be pretty cool with, you know, swag and shit. You know, follow me for more swag. Subscribe. Subscribe or you don't have swag. Okay? Bitch.